This is News Always On. The European Union, Canada and Mexico retaliated against U.S. tariffs on steel and aluminium by imposing tax on billions of dollars on U.S. goods from orange juice and peanut butter to Levi's jeans and Harley-Davidson motorcycles. EU Trade Commissioner Cecilia Malmström said, quote, We are not in a trade war, but we are in a very difficult situation. I will not use the term trade war because it has a psychological effect. But the situation is worrying. The U.S. is playing a dangerous game here. She said that the U.S. claimed the tariffs were needed for internal security, amounted to, quote, pure protectionism. The EU has not made final decisions on tit-for-tat measures on U.S. products. Although it has a list, it still needs to consult with member state diplomats before announcing them. The European Union will proceed Friday with a World Trade Organization dispute settlement case adding those additional duties on a number of imports from the United States. EU High Representative on Foreign Policy, Federica Mohorini said, quote, The European Union measures will be reasonable, proportionate, and in full compliance with WTO rules and obligations. Germany's Economy Minister Peter Almeyer said on Friday that he hopes the European response will result in a process of reflection in the United States mentioning that the EU may consider working on trade with Mexico and Canada, both hit by the U.S. tariffs. According to Reuters News, the tariffs on U.S. closest allies sent a chill through financial markets, with the trade war fear driving Chinese shares lower on Friday, when the Shanghai Composite Index went down by 0.7%. French President Emmanuel Macron called Trump to tell him he believed the tariffs were both a mistake and illegal while U.S. Chamber of Commerce President Tom Donahue warned in a letter to the body's board that the current trade policies could threaten economic progress and cause the loss of more than 2 million jobs, mostly in states that voted for Trump. For more news updates, subscribe to our channel.